What's up guys, Anthony here. Quick video on how to set up our ExpressVPN on the Deco. So the Deco is a mesh Wi-Fi router set that's great for all home uh, Wi-Fi. So what I wanted to do is show you how to connect your Deco to ExpressVPN. And it has a couple of benefits. First of all, once it's configured, all your devices will be connected to ExpressVPN. So it's a much more secure connection. On top of that, and that's one of the main reasons that everybody's using uh, ExpressVPN is for streaming. Right? You want to watch the good shows that are maybe from your country or maybe are on different countries. So you want to be able to see them. So what you do is you install ExpressVPN on your PC, watch from your PC. Install it on your Android TV, watch from Android TV and mobile phone, etc. Problem is, there's a lot of apps that are not available for Android TV. So if I want to watch Formula One, for example, and in, in, in Holland, we have an app called Zigo, um, then I can't watch it on the Android TV because the app is not compatible. So I end up watching it on the desktop or have some other solutions for it. Um, so I can watch on my mobile phone, but I want to watch on a big screen, much more fun. You can go for streaming services, but again, quality is a big issue. So you want to go for the really original source. Uh, so what we do is with this setup, the whole house is connected, meaning that I can load it up on my mobile phone and then press the casting button to cast it to my screen, problem solved. So how to set it up? Very simple with the Deco app. But first of all, let's do some speed testing because of course, connecting VPN does have some impacts. So um, I'll open up fast. You know, fast is a very easy solution to quick speed test. And at the moment, yeah. This is by the way, the Philippines. And you can imagine we actually have some decent uh, internet here. Of course you pay the price for it, but you know, um, especially with COVID, you work from home. So this is uh, the speed on the um, on the desktop. Let's do the same on the mobile phone. Let's see, X B F fast. Where are you? Let's type it in. And run it. And mobile phone is always a little bit slower than my uh, PC. Well, just a little bit. So eighty eight, eighty two, good speeds. Uh, just to check as well what our connection is, so I go to my current IP address, refresh that as well, and I'll do it also on in here. It's my location. Cool. All right, so you can see this is my IP address. I'm not too worried about hackers and that kind of stuff, but I'll uh, block it out anyway. Uh, but basically, you can see it on the map. I'm in Cebu and this is our connection now. So next up is we have to open the Deco app. Go to Deco. And then here you can press the three, the hamburger menu, go to advanced, select your IPV connection, and then go to connection type and change that to L2TP. So that will ask you for a username and password and you can find them within your um, ExpressVPN account. I come to my account, set up the devices, and you scroll down to manual configuration. Again, all the username passwords that you see on screen, they're gonna be blocked, gonna be hidden. Uh, so I have a username, I have a password. Let's fill those in. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then for the VPN server, what we need to do is pick one from our location. So in this case, I want to connect to the Netherlands. I'll go for the Netherlands one, copy it in, and then we're good to go. So now if I press save, it will start connecting. Now this can take 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, it will connect, and then it will authenticate. We get an IP address, depending on how busy the server is. Depends on, on, on the connection. So, once we're done with that, you can see it, it's loading in. The dog is pushing the door. Um, you can see I don't have an IP address yet, but give it a couple of seconds and that will have an IP address as well. And then we're good to go. In the meantime, we can start testing out our connection again. So 
we'll go to fast, you can see the IP address showed up. Refresh it, I'll do the same on the mobile phone. And of course, you can see it has quite a bit of impact when it comes to the speed. Um, we went from 80 plus max to an average of about 30. That's what I normally measure at 25, 30. But again, for streaming, that is actually very reasonable. Um, also, to show you uh, our connection. So we were in the Philippines. Now let's move. Refresh this. I'll do the same on the mobile. Refresh it. And you can see we're now connected to the Netherlands. So final test. Let's test some streaming. Let's open my Zigo app. Let's do some uh, live TV. Let's see clips. TV. Okay. All right. This is live TV, I guess. Ah, so. It says I can't find you in this location. Save location. I might have to log in and log out. I should have this close up there altogether. Let's see what happens. Promising. Right. So you can see it's working. And then, of course, you can pass it to your devices now. I have a field and a phone cross, but I can instantly connect it to it. So that's it. Let me just lower the volume. Let's turn it off. But anyway, basically that's it. So um, very simple, very straightforward. Uh, once you're done, once it's set up, you know you're good to go. If you want to disconnect, you just go again back to your Deco app and then switch the internet connection type back to dynamic, and you're good to go.